Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. This time I'm playing Rice Leaf, that's how you pronounce it. Rice Leaf Story Quest. Um wait what? Zero zero Daily Entrusted Quantity. Huh? That's different. Um hold on. Is it already open? Oh, the, okay. <laughs> internet, internet problem. <laughs> I was like, what, what the heck? Hold on. Why is it happening now, Allah? What do you mean? My internet is fine. Good thing I'm not streaming today. Okay, let me do this again. Where is my mouse? There we go, okay. This is hangout event. Ah, oh, okay, there it is. So yeah, Rice Lee's uh, story quest. The hell, okay. Cerberus chapter. This one. Oh, we're going back there. Okay, back to the fortress of Meropid. Here? What is that? I really need to find time to do this damn quest. Uh. <laughs> I know this quest is a bit long, but I was planning to, but <sighs> continue. Uh, I'll do that one day. <laughs> I'll do this quest one day. I don't know. God damn it. Alright, what do we have? Fortress of Meripede would be super scary, but looking back on it, it really wasn't that bad at all. You've got a set schedule, guaranteed food and board, and you can even buy all kinds of stuff with credit coupons. It's really no surprise that many people don't even want to leave. Hmm. Oh, you mean Risley? He's definitely a pretty impressive leader. Well, he does look kind of intimidating. He's actually pretty easy to talk to once you've had a conversation or two with him. How he's like with the people here. Do they also get the same guy we do, or is he a lot harsher with the bad guys? Yeah, he must be doing something right to maintain order here while not making everything feel super oppressive. If excuse me, did I hear someone there? Could you please do me a favor? Who's there? Huh? Uh, Paimon could have sworn she just heard something. Someone stuck somewhere or something? Excuse me, is someone passing by? Could you do me a favor, please? Where are you? Huh? Nope, Paimon wasn't dreaming. There's someone over there for sure. But Paimon doesn't see anyone. Oh, did you hear my call? Thank you so much. Someone's in the I'm box. Here, inside this big box. I don't think he's hiding. Uh, it's a bit complicated. Uh, can uh -huh. we not talk about that for now? Oh, he's hiding himself, is it? Did someone shave your eyebrows? Did someone strip your eyebrows? Whoa, that's terrible. Did someone seriously do that to you? No, no, it was nothing quite that serious. I, I just like some help uh, finding my hat. Fai... Fai Sol... Fai Sol... <laughs> what are these names? Okay. Just your hat? But then, why can't you look for it yourself? Huh? <gasps> Wait, I'm 
it's it. Something uh, must have happened to your hair. Maybe. Yeah, that's why that's why I need this hat. Uh <laughs> Hey, are you I swear my internet is fine today. What the hell? Why is this happening now? Does that mean I have to go through the dialogue all over again? What? Uh, okay, this isn't going well. Second time already. Why is it reconnecting? Hello? <sighs> My internet is fine. Is the server not stable? Bruh! I don't know what's going on. Ignore what just happened. <laughs> So maybe it's not that. It's a soft but he needs his hat back. With a Somewhere. Brim. Nothing fancy. Soft and brown hat with a bit of a brim. I uh -huh. think that probably lost it near the entrance elevator. It was getting a bit hot, so I took it off and had a quick nap. But well, when I came to, it Someone was gone. It. It's really important to me, so your help would be in the world. I'll wait here for your return. Don't worry, we'll be back. Okay, what a start. <laughs> Two time disconnect. That's not a good sign. Not on the chest. I'm really sorry to bother you like this. Please, uh, come back soon. Okay, fine. So, that's how you pronounce your name. Um, it's down there. It's in the water. Nothing in the water either. Hmm. Hi, Mom thought it or might is have it come this? <laughs> Can I be? Oh, we've looked everywhere and still not seen anything that looks like a hat. We can't scour the entire fortress. We can just buy him a hat. Huh? Oh, that's a good idea. If he's just looking to cover his head, I then it shouldn't think... matter what kind of hat he's wearing. He said he mis might misunderstood, so maybe it's not that. Why don't we check out the rag and bone shop? Rag and bone. Oh. They got all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, I'm only paying for the hat. Huh? How did you know what Paimon was thinking? Oh, this is bad. Nothing gets past you nowadays. Well, <laughs> either way, let's go check it out first. Alright. You know 
while since we went down here. I don't remember this. What? <laughs> Very good ones. A reward on the road. Thirty, nice. All right. What do you have? Do you have a hat? Hey, I doesn't remember you being the boss. Well, <laughs> I'm just standing in for Mr. Alvar while he's off restocking the shop. Now, just wait a sec. A blonde foreigner dressed all in white, accompanied by a glaze covered flying chunk of gingerbread. Gingerbread. Well, you must be the legendary traveler and their companion Paimon. No! Uh, well, you're half right. Paimon's the traveler's treasured companion, sure, but she's not the flying <laughs> chunk of gingerbread! Sorry, sorry, I just. Oh, I never thought I'd get the chance to see you with my own eyes, so. Got a bit ahead of myself. What is that? With that. British accent, man. <laughs> I hope you find it in your magnanimous hearts to forgive my discourtesy. I'm just a nobody, after all. Do you happen to have a bottle of water? <laughs> There's no need to put yourself <laughs> down like that. I'm uh, just venting. Venting? Why, your heroic actions at Araneus have long made their way to the fortress of Meripede. That's your British. We heard that you were personally received by his grace when you made your way down here, you know. Ah, you were the envy of all. And you're one of His Grace's favorite people, so of course, everyone wants to be introduced to you. <laughs> well, I'd figure you'd appreciate honesty over flattery. After all, I also only joined up here because I'd heard Mr. Alvar was a good friend of the Duke. And though I've only caught scant sight of His Grace since then, as fate would have it, I've become fast friends with Mr. Alvar himself. I mean, we've all got agendas, but rather than trying to force something to be true, it's often better to just go with the flow. Oh, so now you're trying to kiss up to us. Well, I did mean it when I called you legends, and it is indeed an honor to meet the two of you. Oh, enough of that. Is there something you're looking for? <laughs> No problem. Anything else? That's it. Huh? Hey, feel free to check out anything you want. The credit coupon costs are on me. Wait, really? but that's... Uh, you don't have to be so nice. Well, it's not like I'm getting paid to watch this shop. Instead of more of our coupons, Mr. Alvar usually lets me just take my pick of our goods. Life's been pretty good recently, so... I might as well just wave your bill. <laughs> Never hurts to make some <laughs> well, friends. Well, put it that way, well, Paimon. Buy whatever you want. Alright! Paimon will take a look! Two snacks. Of course, snacks. Are you sure you don't want more? These opportunities don't come by every day, you know. It's alright. Two will do. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't feel the same if the owner's offering everything to you for free. But anyway, we don't need to get into now we can discuss Pymonology later. Pymonology. Poor Pym must still be waiting for us. Thank you so much. We'll be off then. No problem. And thank you for your patronage. I'd appreciate it if you could put in a nice word for our establishment the next time you speak to his grace. That's a real sneaky way of getting good <laughs> reviews. Alright, we've got a hat, but it's not really this hat. Please come again, and don't forget to mention us to your grace. Sure. Oh, some more I uh, yeah, more of course. Um, we can just teleport. Galvar, yeah. were you here? Okay, yeah, you were here. <laughs> All right, back to the guy in the box. You can come out now. We found your hat. No, well, not quite. You did? Oh, oh God! You just saved my life. You just went back. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and this is not your head actually, or is it? 
I mean, I told you that there had been a misunderstanding. Yeah. This has nothing to do with my hair. Okay. It's not your hair. Wait, uh, uh, this isn't my hat. Well, we got you a new one. You tried really hard to look for your hat, but no dice. Someone else gave it to us, yeah. <laughs> See, thank you so much. Right. I'm really grateful, but <laughs> unfortunately, there's just something special about my hat. Does it have some kind of sentimental value? But, um, <laughs> sorry, I can't... Uh, I guess Explain at, at the at moment. Point, Time's maybe. tight as well, so I suppose I'll keep looking for a while. If you're looking for a hat, Bryce, I just picked one up over here. Is it yours? Your Grace! Did he find his hat? Oh, hey, Risley! It's been a while! I guess he did. Well, it's a slow day today, so I decided to go for a little stroll. Even if your workspace isn't cramped, it's still good to get some air. I'll say I'm not at all surprised to find the two of you here. You never could turn down someone's request for help. Hi, that's his hat. Okay. <laughs> it's what good adventurers do after all. Is that so? Maybe I should consider asking the Adventurers Guild to open a branch here. <laughs> As I recall, these hats yeah, maybe are very be important to members of the Beret Society. Best you avoid misplacing it again. Hmm? Beret Society. You might not have the same luck next time. Uh, understood. <laughs> Thank you so much. Your Grace, then, uh, then I'll be off. Um, I, I'll get going now. What a strange guy. Why did he care so much about his hat? It's probably invaluable. Oh, and has he done something wrong? When he saw you, it was as if he'd seen a ghost. Oh, not at all. In fact, members that of the Beret society. society are model prisoners. They work hard and never get into trouble. They saved me a lot of work, in fact. As for him, I'd guess he's just more of an introvert. It's not unusual for the more shy prisoners to freak out when I show up unannounced. Huh? Shy? There are prisoners who are afraid to talk to people? Prisoners are still people, after all. There are as many crimes and motives as there are stars in the sky. The idea of the criminal as a selfish, heartless brute is just a stereotype. Such labels could never capture the complexity of even a single individual person. What kind of a person a prisoner may be and, and why they've committed a crime, we'd never know these things if they don't share their story with us. Huh. You've got a point. Anyway, it's all good as long as it makes sense to you. What's this Barrett society? Although most of the societies here will just turn individual brawls into mass ones, the Beret Society does appear to be an exception. And it's instead trying to experiment with some novel and interesting things. If you have some time, why don't we grab something? No, I. Ah, uh, this is the third time. This is a bad. This is not going well. Uh, looks like I might have to edit this and cut off the disconnecting part. This is so annoying. Why is this happening? Uh, back to the box again. Uh. Skip that lot. Okay, okay, okay. I can't even skip. Wait. I mean, wait. Well, we got so you a new one. You tried that. Does it have some kind of? But, um, sorry, I can't. Uh... If you're looking for a hat, I just picked one up. Your Grace. Please say that was a slow day. I'm not at all sorry. Uh, it's like good adventure. Uh, is that so? Maybe I should cons- As I recall, you might not have the same- uh, Understood. Then- uh, Then I'll be off. Um. What a strange guy. Oh, and has he just- Oh, not at all. As for him- Huh? Prisoners are still- The idea of the criminal- What kind of a person, a prisoner- Huh. You've got a point. Although mo the Beret Society does appear to be an exception. If you have some time, why don't we grab right, something we at the Coupon Cafeteria? It'll give us time to catch up too. Sure. And if you're still interested in the Berets after that, I can take you to their usual gathering place as well. No! What is going on?
That's the fourth disconnect. Uh, what is this? I never had this much disconnect problems. It's not fun. Huh? If you're looking for a hat, I just picked one up over your grace. Oh, hey, Risley. Well, that's a slope. I'll say I'm. <laughs> it's what good adventure. Is that so? Maybe I. As I rec you might not have. Uh, understood. Then. Uh, then I'll be off. Um. What a strange guy. <gasps> oh, and has he. Oh, not as for him. Huh? Prisoners are the idea. This is kind of a person. Huh. Oh, although most of the, the Beret Society, if you have some time, why don't we grab okay. If you're still interested in the Berets after yes, that, we are. Paimon's not the biggest fan of that cafeteria, but if we're gonna catch up... Let's go and don't get disconnected this time. Alright then, please follow me. Ah, see, so yeah, that was the end of the scene. Oh, I swear, if I disconnect one more time... And the traveler, would you like three orders of today's welfare meal? Unfortunately, we weren't informed of your visit in advance, so we didn't prepare any super deluxe welfare meals today. I'll pass on the food then. What about you? Super deluxe or bust? <laughs> uh, I'll pass on the food. What about you? My mom, are you sure you want some food, right? <laughs> I must say, but I must say I'm not hungry. Then Paimon will also pass. Paimon will save her stomach for something better. <laughs> really? I wonder what if what happens if we say super deluxe? Hmm, what a pity. It would seem that none of us can properly appreciate your skills, Walsey. <laughs> then I must beg your grace to find me some more ingredients. So I can come up with some more welfare meal recipes. If you're not in the mood to eat, I can get you some drinks. We just got some great shipments in from above. fine. Yes, please? Huh. I didn't know you could get non-welfare stuff at this place. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Think of it as a special treat for VIPs. Oh, now that's what Paima likes to hear. And back uh, in two bottles fine. of the drink for Paimon, please. Two bottles coming right I'm up. I'm curious what happens if you say you won the food. <laughs> Our first meeting took place on short notice. And we were both swamped by everything that happened after. So there was no but time please for don't more casual chit-chat. I really don't want to do all that all again. I'm actually quite fond of stories. I just watch you do Of course, the others have already told me a lot about your deeds in Fontaine, but I'd love to hear it straight from the source. Whoa. That'd be quite the long story. Tooth and nail for the sake of justice. Still trying to learn more about Fontaine. To be honest, I really wasn't that involved with a lot of it. Uh... I'll see the sand, the middle one. I see. Certainly that'd fit your title as the traveler. <laughs> Seeing everything for yourself, recording everything to the best of your ability, recording and making lots everything. of friends along the way. I'm sure that by the end of your journey you'll possess an unmatched amount of perspectives and opportunities. 
This is also like options. Uh, hmm. Paimon gets the sense that you're trying to flatter us. That guy we talked to earlier was obviously trying to get us to put in a good word for him, but you're the Duke, right? Why would you need to get on our good side? Well, after all, you did help the fortress and I maintain our autonomy. Is it so strange that I would want to give a few words of praise out of genuine admiration? Just a little bit. It's because you don't ever talk about yourself. Just a little bit. <laughs> so this is a matter of trust. Which is unfortunate, since I don't have nearly as interesting of a story to offer about myself. I was convicted and sent here at an early age. I only became the top dog after spending a long time figuring out its inner workings. Power and control come in many forms. Some fair and ethical, others less so. And since we're all sinners here, the victor calls the shots. We're all no sinners. matter how they manage to get to the top. So, what do you think? Didn't put you much more at ease, now did it? Uh, kinda. You're really different from most of the people we've met so far. <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of that too, but even so, that doesn't make me think any less of you. I would very much like to maintain friendly relations with you two. Oh. Your Grace, after following your instructions, we were able to find a box of undeclared contraband in the latest shipment of cargo. They were extremely well hidden, and we've confirmed that the senders have been using this method to smuggle goods for a while. We're trying to trace the goods to their source. Got it. Leave the box here and contact me immediately if you make any progress. You're dismissed. Yes, Your Grace. Sorry, I had almost completely forgotten about this. She mentioned something about contraband. Are they, like, dangerous goods? Not necessarily. The term is just applied to things people want to bring in on the sly. Many people here are experts at pulling rabbits out of the most ordinary hats. So we have to hats. examine everything carefully. Hmm. Now, what do we have here? Hmm, it's more or less what I expected. Whoa, this is certainly a box of curiosities. Mora, snacks, yarn, balls, what? Rope, mechanical parts, and even a gem! Wait, if you've confiscated this entire box, then does that mean all of this belongs to you now? Yep. We can't just send them back up now, can we? <laughs> Traveler, why don't you become a duke as well? Paima will be your vault keeper! Jokes aside, I didn't know you'd be so interested in this box. How about this then? You can pick anything you want from it. Consider it a gift from anything? me. Anything? Really? You'll let Paima pick anything? Alright, Paima, pick whatever you want. No take backs. Paima will have you know that she's got a real good eye for treasure. <laughs> I never joke about things like this. Paimon's gonna have a look. Uh, Paimon the gem. This one. This dark, sparkly gem. You just know it must be worth a ton of Mora. Um. Oh. Uh. Actually, no. Paimon, are you alright? doesn't want this gem anymore. Can Paimon make something else instead? There's something weird about this gem. Hmm. A lot of bad things when she picked it up. Remember a lot of bad things. Paimon couldn't even tune them out. It's as if the gem was just drawing them out of Paimon's brain. It was super spooky. Is that so? Let me give it a try. <laughs> Paimon's right. I too experienced some unpleasant flashbacks. Unpleasant flashbacks. Are we gonna have? Uh, unpleasant flashbacks like... Oh, I want to see. Are you sure? I wouldn't exactly call it I want fun. to make sure I know exactly what you saw. My constitution is different from everyone else's. Fair enough. Go ahead. I don't think it'll have a permanent effect. Okay, let's see it. What is it? Oh no, it is. Oh, it's everything. Oh shit. Okay. But it affects everyone. Are you okay, Traveler? You also saw something, right? It's just as you said. I'll take this gem then and run a thorough investigation on its properties. Paimon, feel free to pick something else. 
What kind of? Then, actually, never mind. Paimon's gonna pass. Paimon was thinking about one of the snacks, but who knows if it'll also make mm. Paimon sick. Good decision. You do have a point. In that case, we should destroy the entire box and all of its contents. Seems like we're almost done with our drinks, too. Let's go check out this society's gathering place, then. I can introduce Maybe you, and we can also continue our conversation uh, while we're at it. Exposed to the gem. Wait, are you this free every day or something? Just noticed? I wasn't exactly busy the first time we met, either. <laughs> okay. Go to the Bad Society's gathering place. First off, what do we get? Welfare meal. Tassus ragout? Oh, that's a new food. Nice. Not that it's easy to obtain with not. will not bring mountains. Okay. Anything Should probably always keep a few super deluxe welfare meals in stock. We didn't even ask for it. But okay. What's going on here? Is this... Oh, that's where everyone... Everyone's... <laughs> everyone's hats. What the hell? We are honored by your visit, your grace. All of us at the society have been waiting for your arrival. <laughs> what accent is this now? <laughs> are these your two guests? Mm-hmm. Let me introduce you to them. Traveler, this is Dugier, the head of the Beret Society. This okay. is their gathering place. Members can find all sorts of drinks and snacks here, as well as a large variety of books and other resources. Every once in a while, the society will also host activities and seminars, which are always well attended. You flatter me, your grace. All we did was set up an organization in the same way as you would in the world above. It's so easy to feel lonely and helpless when you arrive here for the first time. I remember that feeling all too well. None of us knew anything about this place then, after all. <laughs> but that's when the thought came to me. If we could help everyone turn over a new leaf, they would no longer have to lead such gloomy existences. Thus, it was with your help that I founded the Beret Society. Oh, okay. So do she, yeah. Oh, so you were also involved with this, Risley? Ah, my part in this was minimal. All I did was follow procedure and rubber stamp the application. <laughs> I'm sure you have a very good sense of what this place is about by now. As you know, not everyone takes their sentence seriously. For some, this is just another place where they can eat, breathe, and sleep. But the society is a great place for those who wish to turn things around. Exactly right. Here, we keep an eye on each other and remind each other of our goals. Everyone can focus on rehabilitating our mental states and even make many new friends. Our operations are entirely funded by members donating goods and credit coupons. Same for the things you can see here. Who knew you could find such a place in the Fortress of Merope? Oh, right, and what's the deal with the hats? Ah, oh, there's nothing deep about it. I just felt like we needed some kind of visible identifier. If our members oh, so felt joy and pride from being a part of this group, the then the hats would become a point of pride for them as well. And when we're together, we will feel a sense of community from seeing everyone's hats. Optimism, community, hard work, and a desire for a new life. I hope this hat will show everyone everything we have been working towards. In other words, that hat has come to represent something like a model citizen, which also helps them recruit new members. Once again, you are exactly right, Your Grace. That's a part of our goal as well. Let's take a little old seat over here. There's no need for us to stand. <laughs> I'll ask the members to get us some drinks. Please, I mean, we need just, just one more. <laughs> You'll feel but free sure. to look around, too, if you want to learn more about us. This meeting was planned all along. He said they have been waiting for a while. Seems like I shouldn't underestimate an adventurer's keen sense of observation. 
I'll bear that in mind the next time I need to do something so what's the plan? Uh, kidding, of course. We're just discussing some small matters. It shouldn't take long. We've also already gone over the organization's vision. Instead of listening to me try to explain some more, maybe it'd be better if you took a look around for yourself. Why does Freeman feel like he didn't answer the question at all? Uh, well, we're already here, aren't we? Yeah, they're supposed to be like the model prisoners, right? So this is what their spot looks like. Let's take a look. What are you looking at? Oh yeah, examine books. Okay. Hello. You are guests of the Duke, are you not? I'm organizing the bookshelves. Want to take a look? We've got some classics, as well as a few books that the members published themselves. Yeah, most of them are writing diaries or autobiographies on their time in the organization. Some quit drinking. Some learned to tailor. Uh, some became real good at calligraphy. And even I've learned to use a camera. <laughs> we find it kind of funny. You see, had we managed to stay above ground, none of us would have ever had the time to learn any of those skills. Ah, it's because you all have a lot more free time now. Not only that, but we've also now got the mental space to think about taking on new things. Before we came here, we were constantly exhausted just trying to live. With how the Duke and Mr. Dugier have organized our lives down here, though, <laughs> all we need to do is think about the things that we want to do. You never know what you may be good at until you give it a try. And while you're here, no matter what you do, you won't get judged for it. After all, there's no need to conform to societal expectations when you're already in jail. So this is something like a safe space. Yeah, that's exactly right. After all, not everyone is good at fighting or have the physical strength to do hard labor. The society is exactly what some of us need. And that's it. I just finished organizing this shelf as well, so feel free to check it out if you want. Just remember to put the books back after you're done. Don't worry, we will! Interesting. Oh wait, um, what to talk Okay. Please check out as many books as you like. Just don't forget to return them to their proper places once you're done. Right. Awesome. Welcome to our gathering place. Is there anything you'd like me to explain to you? Oh, it's okay. We're just taking a look around. You sound a bit like a magazine guy. You sound like a salesperson in a shop. Uh, well, that's not a bad comparison. <laughs> it is my job to explain our amenities and benefits to our latest members. I'm sure Mr. Dugier has already explained some of it, but allow me to fill you in some more. Besides this space, which our members use to rest and relax, we also have an entertainment room, a fitness room, and a self-study room. Wow. These rooms are open to all of our members. We want everyone to be able to use their free time to the fullest. Wow, that's pretty cool. Do you have a restaurant queue? If you did, you also wouldn't have to eat at the big cafeteria anymore. Unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> For matters like that, Probably we still have to rely on his grace. It's only the coupon cafeteria. We started a collaboration with the cafeteria a while back, though, so they'll let us borrow their kitchen to do some simple research oh. into recipes and cooking. Yeah, Hyman can definitely see how it'd be easier to live your life if you had all this support. Yep, and that's exactly why Mr. Dujay founded the Society. We all think we made the correct choice to join him. Okay. Life at the Society is rich and fulfilling. We all enjoy it immensely. And now... Rigas. Hey, you there! Newbie! Uh, hello! Are you talking to Paimon? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Now, why don't you follow my lead and take a deep breath before letting everything out like this? 
Hmm? Ha! That was <laughs> That's how I pump myself up every day. A lot of my friends have found it super useful too. With one shout, you can release all the fatigue, resentment, and unpleasantness from your lungs and return to the day with all the optimism in the world. Why don't you also give it a try, huh? I promise that it'll work. Will there be a voice? Ah, <laughs> uh, gonna pass. Okay, Chavez, not doing it. <laughs> Feeling shy? That's all right. As long as you remember this trick, it'll come in handy one day. Maybe he will. Just remember to take a deep breath and let it all out if you find yourself at your wit's end. Okay, that might be useful later. All right, we've talked to everybody. It sure sounds like they're all pretty happy. That would explain why Risley only had good things to say about this place. Huh. It looks like they're starting to wrap up their conversation as well. Let's go over to them. Of course, Your Grace. I will attend to those matters right away. Okay, and I don't have anything else to add. Oh, you're back. What did you think about this place? Now, note that your opinion will also affect my review of Dugier and the society as a whole. Wait, I didn't know they were also a part of the evaluation process. Uh, it's all right with me, though. I'm pretty confident about our growth and activities. Paimon thinks it's pretty good. Don't think anyone expected you to get a society going here of all places. Ah, so it seems that you were able to get a sense of our vision and values. That's all I can ask for, really. The prisoners here all have very different personalities and psychological needs. Our needs are like violent beasts. If we can't face them properly, they'll grow restless and enraged, causing pain and conflict. But if we can placate them, they lose their fangs, and they can even be converted into fuel for far nobler pursuits. Which is why, in my opinion, learning to reconcile with oneself is the first step on the path to redemption. Hmm. You've hit the nail there. on the head, Your Grace. Before I founded the Society, I had met too many people who could not come to terms with themselves. And I'm sure that a part of your support is rooted in your desire to help those people find their way. And Paimon thought everyone was enjoying life just fine, working and fighting. Of course, that lifestyle is more than enough for some people in the fortress. For others, though, they would just be useless distractions. Speaking of fighting, I'm not sure if you knew this, but even His Grace sometimes fights in the ring. What? You fight in the ring too? Wearing those high-tech boxing gloves of yours? And we are not allowed to fight in the ring. And he gets to fight in the ring. Oh, I almost never need them. Almost never, so instead... <laughs> Him again. Why is he a Hey, isn't that the guy who lost his yeah. hat? Did you come here to relax too? Ah! <gasps> oh? <laughs> what happened? Everyone's not. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you forget about us already? Are you feeling alright? You are looking a little pale. Something happened. No, I'm fine. Thank you for helping me get my hat back. I'm sorry, but I've got to go. He's still as weird as before. Paimon's kind of used to it by now, though. Dugier, do you know what's up with him? Hmm. I'm also not too sure about that, as far as I recall. He's always been a little strange, but I'll check up on him later. After all, it's my responsibility as the leader to make sure that no one falls through the cracks. We'll leave him to you then. Hmm. Where were we before we got sidetracked? Something about... Boxing gloves? Something about useless distraction? Oh, right. About that. You might have thought that I was joking, but in a place like that, everyone will use everything in their power to win. And when emotions run high, things often spiral out of control. That would be when I need to pull out my gloves to maintain order. Sometimes you might need more than just gloves as well. This pair of handcuffs has also come in handy quite a number of times. Everyone is... Oops. Oh, the, the, the stone thingy. The, just now. Oh, isn't that that awful gem? You're still carrying it with you? Yeah, I kept it on me because of its special qualities. It won't affect me as long as I don't let it come into contact with my skin. 
Okay. Go on, you guys. Pick up the item for his grace, would you? Um, that's not a good idea. Y yes, right, right away. I don't think anyone knows about that gem. Hmm? That gem shines with quite the dazzling okay, light. Okay, never mind. I hope it hasn't been damaged. Your Grace, please let me know if there's something wrong with it. I think that girl does not know something about this. Hmm. It still looks good to me. Say, Dujie, have you ever seen a gem like this? Never, Your Grace. Don't think I've ever been rich enough to afford this kind of a thing. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Hmm. We've already gone over most of the things that I wanted to talk I about, so let's Some wrap sucks. up for the day. The Traveler also has some other plans, after all. Do we? Got it, Your Grace. Take care, everyone. I'll take you to the exit. What exit? I mean, <laughs> this place is Traveler, open. Paimon, it was an honor. I'm sure everyone would love it if you were to visit again. And that goes for you as well, Your Grace. We wish you all the best in your endeavors. Hmm. And same to you. Alright. Uh, Pinot doesn't think we made any plans for the rest of the day. Why did you lie to him? Something wasn't right. Well, what's your opinion of the society now that you've taken a look around their headquarters? Uh, Pinot thinks pretty it's chill, pretty yes. chill. Aren't you complimenting them the entire time as well? Paimon doesn't remember exactly what you said, but wasn't it something along the lines of encouraging people to embrace their new lives with optimism? There's only one potential problem. If the society does too good a job managing and rehabilitating its members, you may be soon out of a job! <laughs> that is certainly a possibility. But at this point in time, they're still reducing my workload by managing and rehabilitating prisoners in my stead. I wanted to see just how much they've managed to accomplish and also get a sense of DGA's plans for the future. I arranged for a meeting out of curiosity, but then I noticed some faint hints of dissonance. Uh, something not right. Yeah, everyone was like looking around when someone... I don't know. Something's not right. Something sus. Dissonance? I'm sure the Traveler has sensed it yep. too. Something off. As expected, you also picked up on it. The whole truth is a bit complicated, so I'll explain everything to you later. I can tell you right now, though, that this was an unexpected turn of events. I had hoped to take care of it in secret, but now a confrontation may no longer be avoidable. It's hard to predict what might happen next. I... you completely lost my mind. Why don't you take this opportunity to check back on the gathering place? Just tell them you left something of yours there by accident. Sure. If my hypothesis is correct, Dujie should already have left. Or maybe Dujie is just manipulating to see that like, everything is very nice, but maybe it's not. And with his watchful eye removed, you may well yeah, get maybe. a very different reception from the members. Uh, can you just tell us exactly what to expect? I'm just following the most popular playbook in Fontaine. Investigate, obtain evidence, and then use the truth to render judgment. Oh no, are we gonna do like the court thingy again? <laughs> Just to answer question, some questions later. It's been so long since I got to watch a performance at Opera Abbey Class that I've even begun to miss it. I'll trust you for now. I'll take this as another one of your jokes. I'll explain everything to you later. But right now, we need to seize this opportunity. Alright. Find out what you can from them oh, now. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of these again. We might not get another chance like this anytime soon. Nice. Then what are you gonna do? Yeah. Good question. What should I do? Hmm. Maybe you I'll got drop nothing by the to do. <laughs> sign myself up for Let a fight. Let us do the work. Wait. So you're really just gonna make us work while you slack off? Exactly. Oh yeah, but I don't we didn't realize I'm only traveler here. Yeah. I'm not using any other characters. So return to the gathering place. No, I didn't change this one yet. 
Let's see. Huh. It's just as Risley said. Seems like Dujier is no longer here. You said you felt there was something off about this place, right? So let's see if we can feel something out. Let's talk to everyone again. Paimon will do her best to help. Yeah, let's see if we can strike up a conversation. They're looking at us. Wait, you guys are... We're really sorry. We just realized that we lost something. And we figured we might have left it here by accident. We'll be on our way as soon as we find it. Oh, okay. Did someone... Anyone see a glass bottle by any chance? Uh -huh. Hmm? Why is everyone... Huh? Nobody? <laughs> it's okay. There's no need to be nervous. It's not like we lost a whole bag of more or anything. We'll just look for it ourselves if none of you caught a glimpse of it. We're not gonna tell Risley anything, don't worry. I I'll go find Mr. Duchier. We don't uh, we don't need to go to <laughs> Mr. Duchier. Yeah, we're just looking for something. Why does he have to know? <clears throat> yeah, this is <laughs> this is really sus now. They're scared of something. We can look around for it, yeah? Can we? Totally different atmosphere now. Yeah, I can just talk to Bob here right here. Are you still organizing the bookshelves? Maybe not. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but you can't check out the books right now. And <laughs> now we can't check the books. We weren't thinking about that to begin with, but weren't you super friendly just a moment ago? Sorry. Oh. Let's check the books. You really can't check them out. Oh, God. Please understand. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. We actually can't check. Alright. Seriously? You really All right, okay, okay. Just just checking. Oh slit what What are you gonna say this? Hey, time? hello? Anyone home? There hello? you go. How can I help you? Uh oh, give us that rundown again. Can you explain again what this now you say? The Beret Society offers a variety of resources and benefits to its members and uh, I, I mean, you've already heard my spiel. I don't know anything beyond what I've already told you. I don't know anything beyond. I guess he was memorizing that, that now I forgot. <laughs> you don't know anything? Uh, sorry, that's not what I meant. It's just... There's nothing more I can tell you. Yeah, that's... Okay, Paimon sees what you meant now. Yeah, see? Seems like they really don't want to talk to us, so let's just head back. Where's three guys? Uh, Hold on. Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. One more time. Please. Please just leave me alone. Yeah, that, that's something wrong. Rigas? Hey, big guy! Yeah, I did just say something about, like, uh, screaming ah uh, just now, but. <laughs> what do you want? Isn't this how you greeted us earlier? Take a deep breath yeah. and let it all out. Oh yeah, that's right. You, you sure are a fast learner. Uh, I, I ate something earlier, so I'm falling into a bit of a food coma. And um, I mean, not everyone can be super upbeat all the time, right? You're looking for something, you said. I, I didn't see it, but uh, I should be somewhere nearby. That, so while uh, he was here, this was all just a show. It isn't actually 
Huh. Right, yeah, let's go back to Rice It's right there. This dude GA is sus then. Oh, you're back. How it was as if they had all turned into completely different people. Hmm. That would prove my suspicions. The dissonance I mentioned earlier was precisely that fleeting moment of fear behind the cheerful facade. The one guy hidden in the box. Right. He was acting super scared too when we saw him at the gathering place. Hmm. Actually, has he just been acting super paranoid since we first met? And that's precisely why I took his hat. Oh. Okay, so Rice just took the hat. And give it back. Okay. Oh, so the one who started it all was... It was you all along! It's because I wanted to figure out what's really going on. I don't believe any of Dugier's talk about unstable mental states. How long have you been investigating this? Not too long. Dugier made very elaborate preparations for my visit. But I don't know. It almost feels like the performance was too elaborate. Okay, but if you think something's wrong, why don't you just take the whole society into custody? Aren't you a duke? You can do whatever you want in this place. <laughs> well, maybe you're actually a better fit for the position than I am. Just give me the word and I'll hand you the cuffs. In all seriousness, however, cuffs and the like should be used sparingly. They're mostly for show. Everything I do is on display. The way people see me act determines the kind of world I can create down here. And I've always striven to appear fair and reasonable to the people. Uh, that sounds a bit deep. I was not sure she got all of it. Set the tone. The values should be admitted by the people. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head. I have to lead by example if I want to maintain expectations of justice and order. And that's why even though Dugier had already let a few things slip, I didn't want to turn on him without irrefutable evidence. Alright, so you're saying Dugier has figured out some way to control the members of his society, and even though the members are acting all optimistic and motivated, it's all just a show. Yep. It's all just a show. Something missing, though. Why? Indeed. He certainly seems to be using some coercive methods to turn his members into the most upbeat and motivated <laughs> group of people you've ever seen. Yeah, look, and that won't turn that out way. well in the long run. I have some faith, though, that some of the members understood the hint I gave during our visit. The line has been set, and it's quite likely that a fish will bite. Fish? Bite? Let's give them some time. My guards won't need it to finish their investigation, too. You can find me in my office when the time comes. Hey! Don't just leave before you've explained everything to Paimon! Hey! <laughs> Alright, so... Where to night time? Is this what I think it is? Okay, it's just a yellow light. I thought it was a this person. No, nothing. Alright. <laughs> Wait till midnight. Well, not say midnight, but tonight. To land a lucky pole on the welfare meals tonight? Let's That's just a different get line. To the point. Has anything else happened with the society? Patience, Paimon. Even as the situation continues to brew, we still need to make sense of what we learned so far and go over any sticking points. I'm actually still thinking about the first thing that came to my mind when I noticed something amiss. Namely, why didn't anyone come to me about it? Oh, a one that's a good know. point. Hmm. Could whatever they're afraid of be so powerful that even you won't be able to do anything about it? 
Hmm. But even if such a thing existed, how could they be so sure without checking with me first? Yeah, you don't want to tell the dude, maybe some... I don't know. It'd be one thing if it was just one or two people, but it seems like everyone's convinced that I won't be able to help. Which leads me to believe that it's more likely that they think I just wouldn't care to help them. Because you instigated Dujia in the first place, because you've been working with Dujia. Huh, maybe that's why, yeah? Yes, something like that. Dujia must have told them something to make them think I won't take their side. So it became imperative for me to refute that and prove my true stance. Of course, I had originally planned to do this in a more covert way, but I had to improvise when you identified the guy who'd lost his hat with everyone present. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what happened. When someone that hat, the guy with the hat came with the missing hat. There was no way to keep our investigation a secret after that. That makes sense. The last thing that guy wanted was for Dugier to find out that he'd lost it. He would have never brought the matter up on his own. Oh. He doesn't want Dugier to find out that he lost his hat. So, is it because he lost his hat that everyone was... Uh... But now, not only has Dugier found out that he'd lost his hat, he's he also realized, realized that, that we, we were the it. ones who found it. That likely set his internal alarms off all at once. The hats must be hiding something. Yes, that's the conclusion I came to as well. It's the only thing that could explain the fear. Is the hat has some tracking device or something? Oh, I, it can't be. I don't know. If we didn't act right then and there, Dugier would probably come up with some other way to hide the truth and we'd be back to square one. Ooh. So after giving the matter some thought, I tossed that black gem onto the ground. Oh, that's why it distracted with something else with the black gem. I must say, I was pretty satisfied with the results. Ah, so you did that on purpose? Okay. Yes, that's right. Of course, that box was discovered as part of our investigation of the society from the very beginning. Oh! I had no way to know if any of the members had actually seen Maybe the gem they before, have. but since I had yeah. to do something... I decided to gamble. So that's the hint you were talking about. Right. And I said back there that I had no idea what the gem represented. That should have been enough to let people know that it's still early days for my investigation. And since I was traveling with you, heroes who have never turned a blind eye to evil and injustice, they would also understand that we're here to help, rather than to tolerate or uphold the status quo. You used us as a part of your plan too! Okay, that was... Why you wanted us? My apologies. There was no time and quite a lot to explain, so I figured it might be easier to just let you see a few things for yourselves. But I can assure you that I've now told you everything there is to know. Of course, you're under no obligation, but I would really appreciate it if you could continue sure. to lend me your support you really and help me to figure know. out the true secret behind the society. Would you be willing to lend me your support? Uh, but Pilot's still mad at you! Sure, yeah, yeah. Both are sure, so it doesn't matter. If all you need is some help planning, if I just need to fight them off. You have my thanks. Now, there are still two outstanding matters in our investigation. The first is the secret of the hats. Yeah, what is the hats about? I've examined one before. You, you did take there the hat. There was nothing suspicious about the nothing item itself. Nothing suspicious. The other is the true purpose of the black gem. The gem. We haven't been able to get anything out of anyone with actual knowledge of it. I don't it's know. It's my hope that a brave fish will take my bait and venture outside of their dark and murky pool. I'll put some music on while we wait. Really? <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Waiting, okay. And 
Avis, a bird society member. I'm afraid that someone's been following me. Please, do. Okay. I apologize for my lack of composure. These two are the guests that came with you to our gathering place, correct? Yes, my lover Fasol told me all about you. Oh. Please, help us, Your Grace. He's in great danger right now. Okay. Slow down, take a deep breath, and start from the top. What happened? What happened at the Society? I'm sorry, Your Grace. I will try. I think I should start from when you saw Fasol last. You mean, when we saw him at the gathering place? Yes. He fled immediately, but many members are hot on his heels. Thankfully, he still managed to meet up with me and explain everything that had happened. So what is the... what is with the heads? Now that he's lost Dujie's trust, what awaits him is agonizing censure. Censure? Censure, censure is Dujie's method of establishing control, as well as the thing we all fear the most. Rather than listening to me explain what it is, Your Grace, please, just let me show it to you. No one's doing explaining here, we just show it. Show, show it to us, yeah, sure. Every the... secret may be found within... Oh, it's taking, is she taking off as well? So what is the secret? Oh? Uh, uh oh. Is that Duji, eh? Ah, uh, here oh, you shit. are. I was wondering where you had run off to in such a hurry. Oh shit. Please excuse us, Your Grace. It was never our intention to disturb you like this. You see, Avisa's mental state has been rather unstable ever since she arrived at the fortress. She rambles often, has hallucinations. It may be best to dismiss her babbling as random gibberish. I don't recall hearing a knock yeah. or giving permission for you to come you in. Just budget, uh... Oh, my apologies. I merely did not wish for your grace to be alarmed. Had I not been so focused on recovering her, I would have followed all the rules of etiquette to the letter. So please, forgive my discourtesy. <laughs> like we believe you. Indeed, like we believe you. You got some nurse showing your face here. Please, there's no need to be upset. It's only natural to want to side with the poor sick girl, but I know his grace to be a reasonable man. Is it just me or the voice disappeared? Oh no, don't tell me. I think my... Yep, yeah, it's frozen. Hold on. Even my streamlabs uh, audio is bugged. One problem after another. Are you kidding me? I don't even hear any clip. One technical difficulty after another. I'll uh, just read then. What if the reasonable man wants to hear the lunatic well, out? What okay. if the reasonable man wants to hear the lunatic out? It's back. That would be perfectly fine with me. Oh, and just so you know, we've also found the missing Mr. Fasal. I had no idea why he was so upset about losing his hat, really. Hmm. Thankfully, he has already returned to his senses. We've brought him back to our place, so there's no need to worry. Uh... I'm sorry, Your Grace. I don't have anything more to say. This is what you're afraid of, correct? You can tell me everything. This? I'll do all I can for you. So, I guess whoever... Well... I have to hold the rock or something, the gem. I... I... Uh, I've never seen that thing in my life. Nah. No. 
your grace, I don't think there's anything else she would like to say. Pressuring her will not get you anywhere. Mm. It's all right, Elise. As long as you tell me what it is that you're terrified of, no matter what it is, it will no longer be able to hurt you. I swear this on my name and honor as the Duke. Your Grace! <sighs> Forget it. I'll keep my mouth shut. I've already said everything I could say about the matter. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but I really don't have anything more to say. Please, don't press me further. But why? That is to use this museum. In that case, Avis and I will be off. Once again, please accept my apologies for disturbing your peaceful evening, Your Grace. Miss Avis, please show me your head. That is an order. Huh? Is there something on... There's nothing there. Your Grace, I know you have long tired of my words, but please believe me when I say you've nearly let your worries get to your head. I know there's something. He knows there's something. We know there's something. We just don't know what. The society has never caused trouble for you or any of the guards of the fortress. We've spent all of our time working hard and trying to lead better lives. Why are you doing everything in your power to prove our guilt? What's wrong with the current state of affairs? I'll do anything for you, as long as you give me the word. Why are you so intent on getting rid of someone who's been unfalteringly loyal? Your words bore me. You know the consequences if I find you to be lying. Everything that I do, I do for the Fortress of Meripede. But your grace is welcome to visit us any time to confirm the true intent of our activities. All right, Avis. Let's head back. Uh, we don't have the evidence. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. That's the trailer line. Oh, he must have been well prepared for this exact scenario, or he wouldn't have dared to be so openly hostile. All the more reason for us to be patient. Uh, the entire society are his hostages. Yeah. His subordinates would definitely react if he were taken into custody. And that's why he dared to bare his fangs right in front of me. So now, biggest problem? And the true secret of the society is neither on the hat nor on the members' heads. So it's not the hat? Then why is it losing the hat so... Dugier probably knew this from the very beginning, which is why he didn't panic. Yeah, nothing about the hat then. However, if we were to look at the rules, it would also seem like the head has to be the place where they're keeping all of their secrets. But not the head. Huh. Yeah, none of this makes sense to Paimon either. I don't even get what it. What are they trying to hide? Oh no, are we gonna do the thinking thing again? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, the Sumeru version of thinking, okay. Avis's head, Dujia's attitude, Barret society, Barret. The hats are definitely being used to hide a secret. But there's nothing wrong with the hats themselves. Yeah. The attitude. Uh... Wait, Avis is hit. But if there's nothing on her head, why did Avis feel the need to remove her hat? Yeah, she had to remove her hat for something. She wants to reveal something. It's like the hat is hiding something. From the way Dugier acted, he must have known from the beginning that we wouldn't be able to find any evidence. So the Barrett Society... Ah, for f no! Not this again! Ah! I was about to submit conclusion. Don't tell me I have to do all that again. Oh, the 
There's nothing wrong with my internet. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I can talk to Rosalie now. Again, one more time. Where are we? Okay, we were back here. Good thing we're not going all the way from the beginning. Sooner or later, I okay. must have been well prepared. The entire That's system. Not too That's bad. why he dared to bear his fangs right in front. The true secret of the Dugier probably knew this from the very big. However, yeah. All right, let's think of this again. We saw all the options, so. Eh. This is different. Associate. I'm assuming we say this. Lost hair clip. Huh? Why lost hair clip? I didn't get that. I have an idea, but so do I, but I don't understand the hair clip. Avis didn't take off her hat to draw attention to her head. She did so to remove her hair clip. You mean this thing? So, she handed a key piece of evidence over to us without Dugier noticing. That would mean that Avis didn't stay silent out of fear. She already she gave stayed some silent off. because she'd already given us what we needed. So that's why. Let me take a look. So she already gave us. That's why she didn't. I managed to remove silent. this from the hair clip. It's long, slender, and conical. It's hollow on the inside. A chip? No. It looks <laughs> something like so. a cross between a nail and a thorn. Uh, huh. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. What is wrong with. I'm so pissed off. Oh, before this, the internet was so good. Why when I start paying attention and then this happen? <laughs> what? There's no reason to disconnect. Gosh, I have to talk again. How much? Starting from where? Yeah, back to. Sooner or later, he must have been well prepared. The entire system. And that's why he dared to bare his fangs right in the truth. Ugie probably knew this from the very beginning. Well, I better hurry before I disconnect again. We already got the conclusion just now. I have an idea, but. You mean this thing? So, she handed a key piece of evidence over to us without do that. Would let me take a look. Right. I managed to. Okay. Yeah, we see this. Is it? Is it like a bullet or something? Uh, my one's lost again. Let's see. What if we do this? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, hey. Some kind of dark liquid is leaking oh. out of the gem. Huh? Out of the gem? Oh, you poked it into the gem. And some of it has been absorbed by this thorny looking thing. The gem is used as a container for a type of liquid. Okay. You've probably heard before that water is filled with the strongest emotions of humanity. Water again. With that in mind, this liquid is probably a highly concentrated solution of fear. Fear? 
that's why it's uh, very hard to see. Oh, so that's why even catching it won't yeah. make you remember unpleasant things. Dujie would be able to censure others. I can only imagine how it would feel to have this directly injected into your brain. Oh, yeesh. The moment it hits you would be like being flooded with all the terrors you've ever experienced in your life. That's why. Agony, desolation, and an overwhelming sense of despair. No wonder they're all so terrified of it. So, was the hat meant to cover up their wounds? I mean, we didn't even see a wound of them. That might not even be all. Let's go get them right away. We can't let Dujier escape with all of the evidence. <laughs> Go to the best society scattered for this again. No wonder they're all scared. Your Grace, we have yeah. taken the society okay. members into custody. They all tried to flee just a little while ago, as if they had received some kind of order. We decided to forestall their plan, and we're just about to send the word when you unexpectedly arrive. Great work, everyone. You had prepared for something like this all along? I had them stay here to keep an eye on things, so I'm glad that my intuition turned out to be correct. Perform a thorough search of the society's headquarters and bring all the members to me. Understood, Your Grace. Okay. Now, let's check on them. As expected, they all have a hollow thorn inserted into a wound on their head. Eee, that's... <laughs> that's why. Paimon's glad her eyesight isn't so good that she can see it from here. That's I... terrifying. Paimon's gonna float away for a bit. They didn't pull the thorn out? They probably left it there as a lasting reminder of Dujier's censure. These people must have had to endure an unimaginable amount of pain. Let's go check out the other areas, too. The following rice tea, okay. They look brand new, but they're outdated. Even the creases are almost identical. Not naturally to reading. Okay, it's fake. Hey, come here! Come on, look at this! Huh? What? This? Look at what I found. The box? No, what? This is a surveillance point. Oh, this? With this, Dujier would be able to remotely monitor everything that's happening at the gathering place. That's like the puzzle thingy, right? So, Dujier is using this puzzle thingy right here? So even if Dujier is not there in person, he'll still always have eyes on the members. Okay... That makes sense. Indeed. It's easy to become lost and confused when you're given no instructions or any kind of script to follow. And if any action you take may be deemed a mistake, then perhaps it's better to do less, or to not do anything at all. Why don't we just follow this machine from where you control this? Maybe that's true. Dujier has already tamed them to his will. Treating them like animals. Damn. There's probably more clues. My man? Oh, you're here. I didn't realize you were here. <laughs> this is a book that Paimon found in a box next to the bookshelf. Its contents are 
exactly the same as this book on the shelf. These contents are exactly the same. The colors of the covers are completely different, though, and the names of the authors also. So they are just the out. same book, just look different. Yeah, it's just to show. Yeah, and they dared to claim that they wrote these too. <laughs> okay. Your Grace, Your Grace. Oh no! What happened? What's the matter? We couldn't find any society members in the other areas. It also seems like none of the equipment in those rooms were ever used. All the signs of wear and tear are fake. None of the equipment in those rooms were even ever used. The lime scale, the layers of dust, they were all deliberately added. We also investigated the members' residences and weren't able to find anything. Their neighbors all say that they haven't returned home for ages. Oh. Is that right? They're gone? That could only mean... Yeah, their real headquarters are elsewhere. Yeah, it cannot be this simple. Right beside the cafeteria. <laughs> it's not even... <laughs> for a lot of effort to building a front, yeah. Indeed. As long as he allowed society members to mingle with others, even with threats of censure, Dujie knew that he couldn't stop all of his members from speaking out. Meanwhile, this marvelous gathering place will lose all of its value as soon as a whistleblower sounds the alarm. So instead of being his real base, this is just an elaborate performance. Yeah. The rest areas, the fancy equipment, even the members that we saw, they were merely part of the front. And only the most docile and well-trained members were selected as his performers. But then, where can we actually find him? <sighs> Let me think. Dujie must be holding all the rest of his members in another place. And if the overseer of my fortress guard has never alerted me to anything of the sort... The overseer of my fortress guard... He must be in Dujier's pocket. I'm of the same mind. Let's go. You too, follow me. Alright, let's go. The production zone. Which one was it? Which is the bottom floor? Uh, this one, right? Yeah. Oh, what? Did that person flee here? That's the most likely scenario to me. He's probably already caught wind of Dujier's declaration of war against me. And has fled to seek his protection. Let's keep heading down. There are some abandoned areas in there. Since he needs space, I'd guess Duchier probably converted them into his headquarters. We should be on the right track. Now we just need to find that turncoat. Let's go. We can take this path. You guys take the other. Okay. So wait. Yeah, asking. Hey, hold on, I see. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Anything? No? What do you see? Look! There's a fallen guard over there! I don't see some society members too! After them! It's Run! No, 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 gotcha. <laughs> okay. Did Dujier send you? Why did you attack that guard? <sighs> Come on, it's time to talk. Can't you see that he's trying to help? I will take your cooperation into consideration when it comes time to hand out sentences. But Mr. Dujier, he, he didn't want this guy to expose our true location. We were just about to dispose of him when you caught up to us. So, in other words, your headquarters should be this way. Yes, it's just down this way. You'll make it there once you've seen it pass through a large drainage pipe. Wait, down? 
what's below the production zone? Guards take them away. Have we ever went down before? Let's go. It's about time that we find out what Dujie is really after. Hold on. I don't think we've gone down. You mean the abandoned production zone? Which I thought it was the abandoned zone at the first. Wait, um, hold on. I. This is in the top floor, right? This is water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we've been down here, have we? Abandoned production zone. I don't remember going here. Is this like World Quest Limited thingy? Yeah, I've never been down here. This is new. Ah, this is the map that I've never seen before. Abandoned production zone. Oh, I have to come back here later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this must be some world quest thingy because I never went down here. Or did I just not realize this location? Anyway, it's here. Ah, it's a domain. Okay. Dujia's Kingdom. Interesting. You need Risley. Definitely. Because it's Cryo. So I'll bring a full team. Um. Thank you for permitting, no, inviting me to join you. Maybe some of the Fontaine characters. Well, I've got nowhere to go. Don't you dare disconnect at this point, Alamak. Okay. And there is rice tea, right? Alright, yes, there's a rice tea trial. <laughs> right, there's yeah. so much space down here. Yeah, these are all former work areas. They've been left abandoned due to a lack of funds. There are usually guards on patrol here. It would seem that all of those guards have been bought as well. Stay sharp. He's got a ton of surprises waiting for us, I'm sure. Damn, we have a lot of members here. <laughs> Wait, does that mean? Oh, no, no. Okay. I need to try it on the trial run, the test run. Okay. Uh, of course, no bless. Why am I not surprised? C three though. And we got five characters. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is.
charge attack you. Let's begin. safe now. Just follow the guards and leave this place. All right. Who knew that there'd be Gardamax here? Doji ain't really prepared for everything. And that would explain the strange decommission requests I received, as well as account for all the Gardamax that had mysteriously gone missing. Seems like he's prepared for an all-out confrontation with me. Hey, what's this? Seems like some kind of handbook. Let me see. Ah, this should be the society's real rules book. It lists all the rules that they're expected the to follow. Right. Members are not permitted to speak to each other or to leave without formal permission. Okay, you can't even speak to each other. Five members shall form a group, and the whole group will be punished for any single member's oh. wrongdoings. That's why they're all looking at each other. If one person made a mistake, everyone gets punished. Okay, that makes sense now. Anyone who reports a fellow member's misbehavior shall be rewarded with food and water. Unless someone reports the misbehavior. I see. So it's much as I expected. Okay. But that's just cruel and unreasonable. I missed the chest. Really? <laughs> to obtain food and water, prisoners are forced to snitch on others, mm. and in the process cause pain to those around them. To avoid punishment, they learn to stop talking with one another. This leaves the wounds they've already received to fester, however, and so resentment builds until every prisoner has become an island. Finally, isolated and without hope, they accept their fate. As Dujier's slaves. Mm, Do you remember what happened to Paimon? She rejected all the snacks in the box once she was spooked by that black gem. Yeah. I feel like that's what's happened to everyone. She's usually all for tasty snacks, but yes. she chose to go against her instincts after a negative experience. That's what everyone is feeling. Ugh. Is that the best example good, you good can good come example. up with? Anyway, Paimon still thinks she made the right decision. It never hurts to be careful. No, your decision was valid. However, it's also valid to interpret that as a decision that you only made under emotional duress. The human heart is like a raft in a vast and empty ocean. We convince ourselves that we're in control, but in truth, a single wave could sweep us off course and send us crashing into the path of a storm. Those who use fear to lead others astray must pay for that crime. Um, okay, let me get the ch chest that I missed. Uh. Alright. Actually, 2000. What does this do? More normal dead damage, okay. Literally like a food towel then. <laughs> Messily written note. If I'm not mistaken, the space ahead should be the central area of this place, but the door's been locked. Ah, oh, not these doors again. 
Rather than confront Dujier, I think it's more important right now for us to rescue as many society members as possible. Yeah. You guys should wait here. We'll try to open the door and check out some other spots. Alright. Were those guys around to help us when we battle? <laughs> Just now? Open the door? Would we have to do something to this mechanism here? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it at all. We'll probably figure it out. Forget it, Paimon's just gonna do some trial and error. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll just do some trial and error until we figure out what to do. Oh, the guys are here, okay. Rotate the device and shine the light beam and activate the red devices on the walls in order to activate. Rotate. This looks familiar. But how do I rotate all this? Ah, oh, okay. Whoa! It's turning! Is it because we touched this thing? Oh, the other side's ah, open! That's it. Let's go! Does this thing hurt? Because we were walking. Okay, no, it doesn't. What about this side? Maybe we need to turn again. Yes. Take a look around. We can go down there. That one is locked. This one is not. So similar. This is literally the going to the underwater one, right? A more, please. Control it. <laughs> Just my charge attack. Oh boy, this guy. Oh, 
we're back to the center again. Are we? Oh no. Different one, different one. Uh, we're not gonna have to climb all the way up, are we? Activate the mechanism in front of us first, just like before. Let's see if that changes anything. Um, remove the limited device. What limited device? This? Oh, okay. Should be the prison cells. Hmm. Lots of empty cells in here. Dugier's probably moved them elsewhere already. These are the prison cells. This is even worse. This. What's still this is the, the real ones prison right behind, here. Though. Every person counts. Is there anyone here? Oh, there is. I thought it was the same girl. No. 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 I won't try to leave anymore. I I'll never try to leave again. You're so close to me. I don't want any trouble. No, we're not going to do that. Please calm down. We're not bad people. We won't be able to get through to her right now. Yeah. Not with the stress response in the way. I'd also guess there are many others here who are more or less like her. Let's let the guards take care of them for now and keep pushing forward. Elvis and... Yeah. Those two are still in danger. Uh, Alright. Let's search for an exit uh. first. It's almost time to inspection. Oh, so they are passing this note around. Wow. This is the true prison right here. Look at that. control like this
there's a person there. Wait, is that? No, it might be someone else. No, no disconnect. I s I s something. Is How many times has it been? This is the most disconnected times I've ever gotten. What is going on? Uh... Where am I? What are those things? Okay, uh... Install limiting device. Oh, now I get what this is for. Okay, so it won't rotate. I see. The door's open. Hmm. Maybe it's his grace. I'll go take a look. Oh. Maybe it's his grace. Oh. I leave this area to you. Make sure to bring everyone out safe. So we went around already. Understood. And please take care as well, Your Grace. We'll return here right away and await your orders. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just focus on the tasks you've been given. I already have reliable help over here. Let's go back. We have unfinished business, do we not? That mechanism from the first room. Maybe we'll also need to hold it in place using the same device to open the door that leads to the central Makes sense. area. Now we know how to. Don't forget to bring these along. Okay. Oh, that's these two is a limiters. That's what it was. So we limited one here, and that opens the door. Okay, okay, okay. So. Oh, they're opening the cages. Uh, yeah. Good thing I walked here before we went forward. Oh, it's fine now. No, that's detail, eh? Wait, the other side as well? Oh, shit. Good thing I checked back. And the girl here as well. Okay. Yeah, so... Nice. And they're all going back to the center. Oh. The guards from the Fortress of Meripede have already taken control of this area. You're safe now. I didn't go away, right? Wait, I just wonder, where's she running back? Oh, there's another one. This opening. Damn, the detail, man. Good thing I checked back. Look at all this. You're alright now. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there's another door. Hold on. There's another one still locked here. But there's nobody here though. <laughs> Unless there's something important in there. Oh well. These two have the dialog. The others don't. Damn, 
and they're actually doing something and they not just stay still at one place until look at how much <laughs> is there more? no, I think that's it okay <laughs> Right, now, we're going to open this one. Um, we need to open this one. So this has to stay, right? But we need to activate this. I still have one limiter. This has to go there. But uh, which one is it coming from? Install limiting device. One is limited, right? Nice. All right, let's go. Shit, look at that. There's a lot of people there. Is this a battle or something? Look at how many. I must confess to being furious. To think that there are still some of you who find it permissible to spit upon our rules. Oh, shit. It's them. Remember their names. Fasal and Avis. They've betrayed you, betrayed us. And today you will see with your own eyes what'll happen to those who betray our cause. Go on, Avis. Pierce his skull with the thorn in your hands, and then push in the Aqua Dolores. The thorn and push in the Aqua. She has to do it because there's no choice or else she will get Of course. You will do it one drop at a time. Let it do its magic again and again and don't uh. stop until you pushed all of it in. This all I'm sorry. It, it's okay. I'll find a way to endure. Oh, shut your wretched mouths! When did I give you permission to speak? My rules are the paramount law of this place! Only more pain will come to those who dare to disobey! That's enough, Dugier. Your rabid screams have been beyond nauseating. <laughs> Is that... His Grace? Oh, Risley. I knew you would come. But I didn't expect you to be so quick. Must you still refuse to let me be? Did I not spell everything out for you already? What's so blasphemous about sharing a slice of the cake with me when you've already got the entire fortress at your feet? It would seem that you can't see the difference between sharing and looting. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, look at your people. Are they not starving as you wolf down your cake? You. Stop acting all high and mighty like some hero of justice! Have you forgotten? Nobody in this blasted fortress is innocent! We are all irredeemable monsters who have destroyed something that others held dear! What's so wrong about punishing those who deserve to be punished? It's what they've always deserved! And please, are you really gonna tell me that you care about their lives and well-being when you just need a supply of labor to keep this place running? Is it that all you need to keep your cushy life? Sadly, you're wrong on both counts. 
Unlike you, I've never seen them as currency. The fortress is not only a place for confinement, but also a place for rebirth. Just as people are free to give in to the darkness within their hearts, they are also free to seek redemption and a new beginning. Our bodies have limits, but our spirits will always remain free. They may have made mistakes, but they are still human beings with people and things that they cherish. And most importantly, they should always retain the freedom to choose their own path once they've reflected on their past misdeeds. But you, you're destroying their spirits with fear, taking their freedom away so that they'll become slaves who will never again feel or think. And you're pretending like you're doing the same thing as him. Just putting on a show. And you say that's what they've always deserved? <laughs> you are nothing compared to them. He... he's really mad. You think me arrogant, Risley. Well, I think you're too young and naive. You understand nothing of this world. Nobody actually sees this fortress as any kind of just a wonderful place. See it for what it is. A dumping ground of pain and misery, irredeemable now and irredeemable forever! No prisoner will listen to you out of gratitude of their hearts. The whip is the only way to make them obey. Had you been just one step slower, I would have already taken control of all the garden mechs in this place. Your vision gives you strength. But how long will it hold against these powerful constructs? Really? <laughs> just you these talk big, but in the end, mechs. you know nothing outside of power and control. In that case... Let me give you a small taste of what real power looks like. Oh, we're gonna fight him. Let's beat the shit out of him. I'm gonna beat you right now. Okay, never mind. I'm fine. Fuck, maybe that guy. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna finish up that easy. Let's begin. Oh no, are you kidding me? No, 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 this is not the right time to get a pink problem, come on. I think we have disconnected 10 times already, what the hell? This is going so bad. There you go. 
can control everything. Well then, terrify me. Don't high road me. You're just another crook. And it's time you got treated like really? one. <laughs> He's the one in fear now. Oh shit. What's the matter? Too scared to shoot straight? I, I warn you, or of the wrath, punishment, and torture are prohibited here as the duke is accepting temple. Funny how that slipped my mind. And that's well, from this point on, you can forget about that rule. The rules of the fortress are there to keep the likes of you in check. But if the duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification. Understood. Jesus. The guards rescued the society members who have been imprisoned at the true headquarters. Rice spends much time with each member, comforting them and extending his personal apologies. Following that, he makes arrangements for follow-up medical care did not work. And thus, the Barrett Society debacles come to an end. That's how he's supposed to do, <laughs> do for the text. Not like one second. Right? Sorry for taking so long. Did I keep you waiting? No, not at all. I really didn't know you were so considerate. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say I actually feel very helpless. There's no way that I could truly empathize with the fear that the members felt every day. I could comfort and compensate them all I want, but it might still not be enough to repair the damage that has been done. I have to take responsibility for it, as does the fortress. Before it gets any worse. Yeah, it's the least that we could do. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to deal with him yet? Oh, do you? I've already got an idea. For now, I think I'll do nothing. Me? Really? I think it's a very fitting punishment for him to have to imagine the sorts of punishments that will soon be coming his way. He'll be left in the dark with regards to both the dates and the details of his punishment. Of course, that's not to say that I'll be letting him off scot-free. And it's like... <laughs> it's not often that I actually get the chance it's to be creative theory. with my punishments. Yeah. I'm going to talk to the members of the society. He'll get a chance to experience everything that he's ever inflicted on them. Good idea. I didn't know you could also be so harsh. Looks like she should watch her tongue when she's around you in the future. Why do you think I'd do that kind of thing to you? <laughs> you offend me, Paimon. Anyway, jokes aside, thank you so much for all of your help. There's still a lot for me to take care of, so how about this? I'll treat you to a meal in two days at the coupon cafeteria. We should have a better handle on things by then. <laughs> Don't worry, really? it won't be the same old welfare meal. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Oh, then you got yourself a deal. Wait, two days later. All right. Oh. What time though? I didn't see the time. You didn't see it, right? Oh, 11 to 13, okay. <sighs> Damn, what is wrong with the. It's not even my internet, my internet has no problems. What the hell? This is the most disconnected <laughs> I've ever gotten today. Alright, let's go to the Uh I think 
fucking yes the nearest This became long because of the disconnect. Uh, it, it shouldn't have taken this long. Alright. Ah, you're here. Paimon never forgets about meals. Even if the traveler forgets, Paimon will remind him for sure. <laughs> Is there, I haven't been feeding you or something. <laughs> I'm a little confused, actually. Hey, not you too. Jokes aside, I've got some good news. After taking a look, the doctors have let me know that it shouldn't be too difficult to extract the thorns. Which means that everyone should be able to recover after a period of rest. As for their mental recoveries, most are making good progress as well. We've added a few who were more severely affected to a special observation list. Taking care of, Riley. I try my best. After all, it's my duty to take care of everything that happens within my territory. Please, go ahead. What? Your flashbacks when you picked up. Your anger when you confronted the Uh, I wanna ask both though. Ah, that's a bit of a long story. I once had a similar experience. It had to do with the host family I lived with as a child. I was an orphan. Adopted by a couple Ooh. with a great deal of love in their hearts. I had many siblings, and we all adored each other. Once we were older, Mom and Dad would turn us over to be individually adopted by families of greater means, and go on to adopt more young children. Individually adopted by families of greater means. They were perfect parents. Or so I thought. And then? And then? I found out we were merely raised as livestock. Once we had reached a certain age, our parents would bring us to the market for sale. All children that were sold would leave the house, and nobody would know what became of them. As for those who didn't sell, they were merely disposed of. Did you know I once considered myself an extremely lucky child? And all of my friends, all of my siblings, they all felt this way as well. I was also not the first to find out about the truth. All those who found out before me were simply added to the disposal pile. I could never shake the feeling of irony every time I juxtaposed their tragic ends against our parents' adoring smiles. Yes, like the society, my parents created a facade of joy, lied to satiate their desires, and even employed incredibly cruel methods to keep their grasp on power. They did all of that, but never considered how their actions would utterly ruin all the children they took under their wing. Worse, perhaps they never cared about that at all, but I did. So in the end, I killed them Ooh, what? and set all of the remaining children free. I was convicted for my crimes and exiled to the fortress of Merpi. That's why he was convicted. But it wasn't a cr it wasn't I can see this oh oh form of justice I understand that's why ah. my methods were extreme yes but I was still a teenager at the time I'd been betrayed oh, by those I trusted time. most and I didn't think that more moderate ways would solve the problem my doubt and helpless anger pushed me forward until I got what I deserved. Uh. It's all right. You don't have to tell me what you think. I've already committed to this path, regardless of what anyone may say about it. The least I can do is to make sure that the same tragedy will not happen again in my new home. Sorry to disturb you, everyone. Oh, it's them. Oh, it's a piece of the soul. Are you just feeling better yet? It was all because you arrived in time. I managed to escape unscathed. We came here on impulse today because we were hoping that you'd be able to lend us a hand, Your Grace. Oh, please, go on right ahead. I'll do my best to help, within reason, of course. It's... <clears throat> I'd like to be 
Aww. wedded to Avis here at the fortress. You're getting married? Yeah, we met each other through the society and both fell into Dugier's trap. But even during our time there, we never doubted each other. We always believed that Dugier was manipulating us, trying to make us mistrust each other. And after this incident, we've come to believe that we've found the one for the rest of our lives. <laughs> you could say we managed to make the best out of a bad situation. He didn't abandon me, and I didn't forsake him either. But we're still both prisoners. And we also aren't sure if the fortress is the best place to host something so celebratory. So we are just wondering, is our request a bit too out of line? Hmm. You're right in that the fortress has never hosted a wedding before. But that's no reason to say no, is it? I'll help you make the arrangements. If you need anything special shipped in from the surface, just say the word. Oh, we can't thank you enough, Your Grace. We are actually also planning to stay here after the conclusion of our sentences. Yeah, we've already made tons of special memories here. So now, it'd be too hard to leave. And we have full confidence in the Fortress's future with you at the helm, Your Grace. Your trust is the highest form of praise. Hey, loosen up a bit. Shouldn't you be the happiest man in Tibet to hear that people would like to stay of their own free will? Yeah. I'll always take a genuine expression of faith over any obligation to obey. Uh, and they're gone. Alright. Well, sorry for all the disconnection problems. I did not expect that to be happening today. Like I said, I, there were no problems before this started. Suddenly, I have been so unlucky having like 10 disconnections. I don't know how many was that. <laughs> uh, and if I'm gonna edit this, this will take a long time because I plan to not edit this. Uh, whatever. Right. Um. Let's take this recipe. Oh yeah. So that oh. that that turned really dark. When the society the Barrett society thing what the hell. Alright, so uh, that's it for Risley's story quest. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. And hopefully there's no disconnection again next time. <laughs> ah.